Hello viewers, welcome again to Baraton TV, here and hereafter. We are excited on this wet, nice, rainy day at Baraton. And we'd like to say welcome to you once again to our program series on the science of health. Today we have in studio Mrs. Esther Angwenyi. Welcome. Thank you, Professor. Hello, everyone. First, may I take this opportunity to thank you, Professor, for according me this opportunity to come and speak about impact on, of COVID-19 and the development. Thank, thank you very much, uh, Mrs. Angwenyi. Mrs. Angwenyi comes to us from the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences of the University of Eastern Africa, Baraton, and we are happy to have you once again. Actually, her area of study is de development studies, and today our focus will be on development studies, an area really dear to my heart. I love to talk about development studies, and we are going to ask Mrs. Angwenyi to, today. Well, Mrs. Angwenyi, our first question is, what do you think the impact of this COVID-19 will have on development, and particularly this lockdown period? Do you think it has any impact on development in society in general? Well, thank you, Professor. That's a good question. When we talk about COVID-19 and the impact it has on development, first of all, we have to understand or understand the meaning of development. And when we talk about development, it, development is a complex term to define. Among the multiple meaning of development, it is about justice. And when we talk about justice, it's about human rights, that every human should have equal opportunity to all people. It is about mutual respect. That is where we have to respect people whether they are in a certain position, whether it is high or low position or middle position. Development is about, you know, reducing barriers as among individuals, household, communities, nations, just to mention a few. There are so many, but I can't erase all of them. Mm -hmm. Development is about a healthy environment. If we are, you know, surrounded by a healthy development, that one we cannot say it is a development. And what you should know is that development and environment go hand in hand. Uh, a development is about economic prosperity. Unless an individual, a country, has prosperity, if the economy is chained down, we cannot just say that is a development. Another one, just to mention a few, is that gender fairness. You find that sometimes the concept of gender equity refers to fairness of treatment for women and men. Not only for women, it's because sometimes we take, so you know, we say that, you see, when we talk about gender, it's only about women. But it's women, both women and the men. And just the last one, which I may mention, is access to information. When we talk about access to information, food, housing, worship, leisure, just to mention a few. Development is about improved human well-being. Impact of COVID-19 and development. The pandemic has affected millions of people in every country, every sector of economy, and all aspects listed under 17 sustainable development goals. The development, this development goals is a comprehensive list of the 17 priority, priority areas of human well-being that the international community has decided to emphasize that is they want them to be fulfilled at the end of the year 2030 and beyond. I can give an example, I may not enlist all the 17. I can give just a few examples like uh, uh, sustainable development goal number one says that no poverty. We expect that by the year 2030 there will be no poverty. Two is zero hunger, three is good health and well-being, quality education and gender 
equality, just to mention a few. And that is why we are discussing about COVID-19 and the impact it has on development. The expected long-term outcome of sustainable development goals is, improved, is to improve human well-being. And COVID-19, therefore, has deeply affected development in Kenya and elsewhere. Yeah, and elsewhere. That is what I can say. Okay, thank you very much, Mrs. Angwen. In fact, uh, many people, when they think about development, they think about physical infrastructure. They think about maybe putting up buildings. But development is so wide, like she has told you. Development is, is a broad topic. I like the way she talked about even the gender issues. And in fact, she talked about the SDG, or Sustainable Development Goals. That is very, very important. So like you said, development has had an effect. Okay? In fact, COVID-19 has had a great effect on, on development. But then you see, has development, in a positive sense, improved the lives of people, even during this lockdown period? What, 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 what positive aspect human de of human development can you tell us has happened, or you can allow to happen to you during this lockdown period of co the COVID-19 pandemic? Wow, well, that's a very good question, Professor. Obviously, when we talk about lockdown impact or COVID-19 on development in society, the answer obviously is yes. Lockdown is a response, as you are aware, to public health, uh, to, for social measures, so that they can you know, limit or minimize the spread of COVID-19. And these measures, that they are some of them I can mention public gathering have been restricted schools have been closed church worship gatherings are not allowed we have public transport is affected business are restricted we have public events entertainment sports weddings funeral etc are restricted jobs and livelihoods are affected gender violence and the rapes are reported to be on the rise. On the other hand, as we have mentioned, whether this is, it has a positive impact on the, social, on the society, is that it is difficult for sure to perceive whether any positive impact on development could occur under the COVID-19 pandemic. Take, take, you know, uh, taking in consideration about what I've already mentioned. However, families are spending quality time together than before. You know, mostly families, maybe parents could go to school, to, to, to work, children go to school, and by, by the time they come, they don't even see their children. But this time, that is one of the positive impact it has. Many could be appreciating the new normal of work from home. All of us, I know, are workers. And at this moment, we are working from home. And I think we are adjusting. Online schooling is becoming slowly specialized. We have ex experiments on children's home schooling as an innovation, which used not to be before. Because parents could wake up, say, children get ready, go to school, but now, but now, Children are at home, parents are at home, so everything is done at home. Mm -hmm. Virtual communication is a new normal okay. and potential for job opportunities. Yes. It is possible to have positive outcomes from the COVID pandemic lockdown. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think that is encouraging. You have told us that, you know, it is possible to have many good things happening even during this lockdown even during this COVID-19 lockdown we can spend more time with our children at home you know we can work from home and i like the aspect of trying to adjust and adapt to virtual communication that is very very good mrs angwani thank you for that now with all of this in mind what do you think you can advise us as people you know members of the community baraton community communities out there the Kenyan community and the world as a whole. What can you advise us on how to try 
to think positively and adapt positive developmental aspects even during this COVID-19? Probably before I go to that question, if you can allow me, maybe I can chip in one of the points because you know the way people are staying or they are locked down we have what we call non-physical human development of lockdown and it has and it has the, you know an impact on the health of the people so COVID-19 lockdown has had marked psychological and cognitive impact on individual and the way we work we could see that emotional and psychological challenges to parents and children relationships because of that staying at home you know sometimes like when you have these teenagers when mommy and daddy tell them this you know sometimes they don't want effect on welfare or prisoners sometimes these are vulnerable people we don't take time to think about those prisoners who are in prison what what is their welfare uh, emotional association with access to government services Previously, we could go to a government office if there's something which you want them to assist you, but now, from home, how are we going to access the services? Social conflict, what about mental well-being of the health workers? It's too much for the health workers because even them as human beings are being affected. Probably now to come to your question, though you are saying the advice I could give to the community is that we need a positive outlook to challenges brought about by COVID-19. We need to pray for, the, for divine intervention. We have to pray for resilience as we face the new normal. Because life is not going to be the same. It's not going to be the same. Mm -hmm. Care for the needy in the community is now most urgent because there's nothing which is going on no jobs, nothing. So we have so many needy people, so we have to take a step to take care of them. We should encourage homegrown participatory solutions. Thank Home, you very much. Yes. And the last one is that we define what sacrifice means in the new normal. Thank you very much, Mrs. Sanguini. I just want to just Thank you so much for this because you have actually drawn some link between development and health and, and that is important to us. So you believe that we can, we, our health can, can improve if we do some of this, we carry out some of these activities? Obviously it is because you see now our life is not going to be the normal life we used to live. It is possible if we put them because health the one which I talked about, the development, is a wide area and the health is included. Correct. Yes. Thank you very, very much. So, viewers, there you have it. She has talked about development and its effect on the society. She has talked about the impact of COVID-19 on development, even in society, and many aspects of development. But she wants to tell you that development has a connection with health also. If you engage in some activities, helping people out there to improve the lives of others. Your own life can be satisfied by that. Thank you once again, Mrs. Zangwani, for being in the, in the, in the studio. Thank you, Professor. We are Baraton TV, here and hereafter, coming to you from the beautiful campus of the University of Eastern Africa, Baraton, Nandi County, Kenya. Thank you. Thank you, Professor, again. Okay.